60 Seconds University Shorts Compilation. Did you know that Adidas and Puma were founded by two feuding brothers? The Dassler brothers started out making shoes in their mother's laundry room in Germany, but personal conflicts led to a falling out. Adolf took control of the company, which became Adidas, while Rudolf founded Puma. Their rivalry continues to this day, making for a funny and interesting family feud story. Louis Vuitton burns all their products. You know what they say, if you can't sell it, burn it. At least, that seems to be Louis Vuitton's philosophy. It's like they're the Marie Kondo of fashion, if a product doesn't spark joy, or sales, just set it on fire. I mean, forget about recycling or donating to charity, why bother with all that hassle when you can just create your own runway inferno? It's the ultimate fashion statement, we don't do clearance sales, we do controlled burns. But let's be real, if they really wanted to go all out, they should team up with Elon Musk and launch a bunch of unsold LV bags into space. Can you imagine aliens discovering a Louis Vuitton meteorite? That would be out of this world, literally. Check out this monkey, folks! It's the blue ball monkey, and you won't believe why. These guys have some seriously blue balls, and it's not just because they're sad about their love lives. Nope, it's actually a natural pigment that makes their testicles stand out like a sore thumb. When they're not busy showing off their bright blue balls, these monkeys like to hang out in the treetops and on the ground. They're active during the day, so you might catch them running around and causing mischief when you're out and about. And what do they eat, you ask? Well, pretty much anything they can get their hands on fruits, leaves, tubers, small animals, and even insects. These guys are true foodies, and they're not picky eaters. So there you have it, folks, the blue ball monkey, a unique and colorful addition to the animal kingdom. 60 Seconds University Did you know that sharks have a nose for the good stuff? That's right, they can smell a single drop of blood in an Olympic-sized swimming pool. I mean, talk about having a sensitive schnoz. It's like they have a built-in bloodhound detector or something. So if you ever find yourself swimming in the ocean and you've got a paper cut, just remember that you might have some fin friends nearby who can smell it a mile away. Did you know that flight attendants may not always get paid for all the work they do? It's true! They may only get paid for the time the plane is in the air. So next time you're on a long layover and see a flight attendant hanging around, they're not just slacking off, they might not be getting paid for that time. But hey, it's not all bad news for flight attendants. They do get some pretty sweet perks, like flying for free and getting discounted airfare. And let's not forget about those fancy hotel rooms they get to stay in on layovers. Maybe that's why they don't mind putting in a little extra work here and there, they know the rewards are worth it. So the next time you're on a flight, don't forget to give your flight attendants a little extra appreciation for all the hard work they do, even if they're not getting paid for every minute of it. Who knows, maybe they'll even hook you up with a free snack or drink. 60 Seconds University Raccoons and raccoon dogs may look like they're related, but they're about as similar as a cowboy and a samurai. Raccoons are like the cowboys of the forest, tough, scrappy, and always up for a good brawl. Raccoon dogs, on the other hand, are more like the samurai, elegant, disciplined, and fiercely loyal to their mates. When it comes to appearance, raccoons are like the chubby little kids you see waddling around the playground, with their round bellies and stubby legs. Raccoon dogs, on the other hand, are more like the svelte, sophisticated teenagers who always seem to know the latest fashion trends. But perhaps the biggest difference between these two animals is their behavior. Raccoons are like the party animals of the forest, always up for a good time and raiding your picnic basket when you're not looking. Raccoon dogs, on the other hand, are like the responsible adults who go to bed early and never forget to floss. Raccoons and raccoon dogs may look similar, but they're about as different as two animals can be. What do you think? Did you know this about Nike? Did you know that Nike's famous slogan, Just Do It, was inspired by a convicted killer's last words? Yup, it's true. Gary Gilmore, who was executed for two murders, uttered the phrase, Let's do it, as his last words. And somehow, a marketing genius at Nike decided that this was the perfect inspiration for their new advertising campaign. Dan Whedon, the founder of Whedon Plus Kennedy Advertising Agency, used the quote as inspiration for Nike's Just Do It campaign in 1988. 
It was a bold move, but one that paid off as the campaign helped Nike increase their market share in North America over the next decade. Who knew that a convicted killer's last words would inspire one of the most successful advertising campaigns of all time? Now, every time you put on a pair of Nike shoes, you can think about how they were inspired by a killer's final words. Just do it! 60 Seconds University Paul McCartney is dead? The rumor that Paul McCartney might be a fake emerged in the late 1960s and early 1970s, with some fans claiming that the real Paul McCartney had died in a car crash in 1966 and that he had been replaced by a lookalike. The theory gained momentum when fans searched for clues in the Beatles' music and album artwork that might support the idea. The phrase, I buried Paul in strawberry fields forever was one such clue. Others pointed to the cover of the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band album, which they claimed showed a funeral procession for the real Paul McCartney. While the theory is generally regarded as a myth, it continues to be a topic of fascination and speculation among Beatles fans. What do you think? 60 Seconds University Did you know this about airplanes? Did you know that some planes are capable of flying for more than 5 hours even if one of their engines fails mid-flight? This incredible feat is made possible thanks to a technology called Extended Range Twin Engine Operational Performance Standards. Under ETOPS, aircraft are tested and certified to fly long distances over water or remote areas even if one of their engines fails. Thanks to this technology, twin engine planes like the Boeing 777 and Airbus A350 are able to fly across the world's oceans and even traverse the Arctic region, where emergency landing sites are scarce. While the idea of flying with just one engine may sound risky, ETOPS have been developed to ensure the safety of passengers and crew in case of an engine failure. So, the next time you board a twin-engine plane, rest assured that you are flying on a highly advanced machine that is capable of handling even the most challenging situations. 60 Seconds University Did you know that PlayStation discs had scratch and sniff discs? That's right, you read that correctly. Two of the games, FIFA 2001 and Gran Turismo 2, were designed to have a unique smell experience. FIFA 2001 had a scent that mimicked a freshly cut soccer field, while Gran Turismo 2 smelled like a new set of car tires. These discs were intended to add an extra dimension to the gaming experience and create a more immersive environment for the players. However, opinions were divided as some gamers found the scents to be distracting, while others thought it was a cool feature. Nevertheless, it's an interesting fact to ponder on the next time you fire up your PlayStation 1. What are your thoughts on these? Should they bring these back? 60 Seconds University Did you know that world's shortest flight in the world lasts for only 90 seconds? That's right, you could easily spend more time deciding what to watch on Netflix than actually flying from one destination to another. The flight takes place in the Orkney Islands, just north of Scotland, and transports passengers from the islands of Westray to Papa Westray. But don't let the short duration fool you. This flight is not for the faint-hearted. You see, it's operated by Logan Air, which, according to their website, has been Scotland's airline for over 50 years. Now, we're not sure what they've been smoking up in Scotland, but apparently, they believe that taking off and landing a plane in under a minute is a piece of cake. So, if you're feeling adventurous and want to experience the thrill of a lifetime, hop on board Logan Air's shortest commercial flight. 60 Seconds University